So you want to add flavor to your beets. Chicken tastes like sh** without seasoning. You gotta add a little bit of lemon and herb on there and lovely stuff. People struggle to find your stuff amongst thousands of other beets exactly like it. You're tired of just being a single grain of sand on a vast beach. Well, it's time to change, okay? It's time to change. Okay, the first bit of seasoning that we're gonna add is sampling. Sampling is when you use a portion of another recording in your own song. And I know it sounds almost counterintuitive because you are essentially just stealing from another song. But it's actually far from that. Right, so the Wii music is locked and loaded in this FLP. I've chucked some drums on it just so you can get a rough gist of how this sounds. It's quite slow. Bump up the BPM. The samples, don't be afraid to change the pitch because that's what gives it its element of uniqueness. So let's bump this up three. Another thing you can do is try and use different time signatures. Now what I mean by this is that most songs are recorded in 4-4. Four, four. So why don't you try using 3-3? Three, three? So what we've got here is I've made a melody in 4-4. Four, four. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into 3-3. Three, three. The way to do this is you take your mouse up to the top left, this magnet, click on it, one third step, and you're good to go. See, it just gives it a bounce that you just can't get with 4-4. Once you've got your main melody down, chuck anything on it and it will be sounding crispy. Nice. Next up, we have sound design and sound selection. It goes without saying, if you want to have unique beats, you have to have unique sounds. Now, the best way to get unique sounds is by using a sound design plugin. Here is just one example. This is Serum. You get two oscillators, which you can put different wavetables into to make different sounds. You get your filter, which is essentially your EQ. Tons of effects. You know, you got your chorus, your flanger, delay, reverb. It's essentially infinite sounds within this plugin. The thing about Serum is it costs quite a bit of dough, but this is vital. Vital is completely free. It looks a little bit more scary than it actually is, so don't worry. So just play about with the different bits and you're guaranteed to make some good sounds. Alright guys, I'm gonna put you on some secret sauce. Automations. Let's do it. Open the mixer. Select the plugin you want to automate. Create your desired effect. Head over to the mix level. Create automation clip. A clip will be created that allows you to control the mix level of the plugin. Here's something I made by automating the pitch and the tempo. you ever made a melody and it's like it's okay but it's not quite there it needs something well one thing you can do is reverse that melody okay we're back in fl studio i've made a nice little piano melody that we can reverse okay so now we're going to reverse it you want to go up to the patterns tab click the drop down arrow quick render as audio clip go to this button here this tab double click this and reverse Just gives the melody a sort of mysterious vibe. Well done! You made it to the end. You're well on your way to making Mitchell and Star beats. They're already up so much higher than they were before. And with that, if you want to see if your beats are better than an AI's, check out this video right here. <laughs>